What's up, awesome people of the internet? And why nama? Samit vaya yan hope but you can call me JD. And in today's video, I wanted to show you some footage that I actually captured a while ago at the Herd Museum show in Phoenix, Arizona. It's one of the largest indigenous art shows in the world. I have family members as well as other relatives from out home on the reservation from Hopi who take part in this annual event. And I just wanted to highlight, I know that a lot of us from the reservations are self-employed artists right now we can't really do as much business, you know, going to art shows or maybe even just selling in public because of our current situation. I wanted to dedicate this project to all of the artists featured as well as any other indigenous artists that you may know of. Feel free to leave them down in the comments section below or send this video to them. I really would like to do future collaborations with other native artists at other shows when they do come up. I myself take part in local smaller art shows down here in Tucson. It's a lot of fun. You get to know a lot of people and the people who collect your work, you really get to establish a good connection with them and really explain your work on a more personal level. So that's what this video is about. My goal was wait until things become normal, but we know normalcy is not going to take place for a while, for quite some time. So I wanted to make this video and show you guys just some awesome creators. Also, just a heads up that I have my own merch store now. I created my own t-shirt that says my greeting on the front, Umwainama, along with my logo. Logo. You can go ahead and check it out in the link store link that I have in the description box as well as some art projects that I am posting on Instagram. If you're not following me on Instagram, I have a lot of paintings that I am, am sharing with you guys. So go ahead and go to Instagram, see what I'm up to, and I hope you enjoy this project. I had a lot of fun interviewing people and I hope to do more in the future. So please share this with the native community, share this with native artists. And if you are an artist yourself, go ahead and drop me a comment and enjoy. So a little bit more background and history on this event. This is actually one of the largest um, native art showcases in the world. Huge collection of native artists, like I said, from all across Northern America and just a diversity of different styles of art. You have weaving, jewelry, basket making, pottery, uh, native contemporary art, all of the art that is here. It's really remarkable seeing how many of these younger artists are picking up the works from their parents, from their grandparents, really passing on these traditional styles of art and knowing how to incorporate it into modern, um, modern contemporary works. And what I'm really proud to see is the community's investment in this event because this is very successful every year. There are artists who sell out every year who come dedicated uh, collectors from various doll carvers. Um, you have acrylic painters, watercolor painters, sketch artists, uh, fashion designers, flute makers, bow makers, everything that you can think of that would be considered a traditional art form and how these artists really put a contemporary spin onto that work, um, incorporating traditional native symbols and really just thinking of ways and how to adapt into modern times with their art bringing that culture forward into the century. Hi everybody, I'm Carmen Slam. I'm from the 14 Confederated Tribes and Bands of the Yakama Nation, and I'm a two-dimensional artist here at the Herd Indian Market. And the Herd Indian Market is in a really important venue for us as artists to take up space. I am a queer Native woman artist, and so having the Herd house me here is really important, not only to myself, but for the upcoming generations to see that it's totally possible to be here. Thank you so much. Hi, uh, my name is August Wood. I come from the Salt River Pima Maricopa Indian community. I'm Pima and what I do is I do Pima basketry and we utilize natural resources from the community uh, such as cattail, willow, and devil's claw. Originally it was done by women but over the years a lot of the people, especially the women, have lost interest in the basketry. Growing up uh, I would always see the baskets around the community and I'd always wondered how they were done and then so in 2009 I was down in another op and community called Auction and um, saw a sign that they were offered to do basketry class and I called them up one day and I asked them if they would be willing to teach me and they said yeah and so that was in June of 2019 and I learned from another weaver her name was Sally Anto and so ever since then I've been learning how to do basketry and I keep it's something that I really think um, is important because uh, basketry was considered to be an essential part of the autumn and not many people do it nowadays for me to do it it's just kind of uh, inspiring I guess you could say so. 
Uh, my name is Shannon Stevens. I'm from both the Laguna Pueblo tribe and the Hopi. My mother is full Hopi, my dad is full Laguna. My medium is photography, and I've been doing photography my whole life. Within the last five years, I um, really dove into it. For this particular showing, I have the girls in a lot of the traditional regalia. A lot of the, like the mantas, for example, those were not just traditional, not just for religious purposes, but they were also utilitarian, so they wore those every day, probably 1920s, 1930s, even earlier than that. But as we've grown, as technology, modern ways have come in, then you also have change, you have a shift in that. So like this, for example, it's they're all in their traditional attire, but you've also got uh, them with the makeup, you've got now tattoos, you've got the cell phones iPods, Fitbits, you have all of that as well. So as much as people want us to be strictly traditional, as much as uh, other, maybe other um, cultures, they want us to be traditional, we're very modern, obviously. <laughs> We're very modern, we're very contemporary. We understand that that's it's just it's just part of the norm of what it is right now. So some of these are more simplif simplified. I don't know if that's the right word, but just um, more going back to kind of who we who we are and who we were at a at a point in time. So my name is Eric Tipicani, and I'm an enrolled member of the Comanche Nation of Oklahoma. On my father's side, on my mother's side, uh, my mother's from Copenhagen, Denmark. Danish and Comanche, and I also have Cherokee blood as well. I primarily work with acrylics on canvas and wood panels. I'll paint drums and gourds and other things as well. For a piece like this, for example, I like to incorporate aspects of traditional Comanche culture, or if I'm doing a piece that is featured in a different nation, some aspect of their traditional culture mixed in with modern attire or a modern occupation. Hollywood, for well over a hundred years, has done such a thorough job in cementing these stereotypical images in the minds of mainstream America, and most people would in mainstream America never even have to associate with the Native American if they don't truly want to. And so that imagery for them or those little blurbs they see while they watch Peter Pan salute to Thanksgiving by having kids come home in little feathered headdresses, that's all most of America gets. And so I like to, to challenge those stereotypes. And myself, I have a PhD in history. I'm a doctor of, of history. We're alive, we're well, we're still functioning. We're not a, just relegated to the past. We do everything. We're doctors, we're lawyers, we're, we're garbage men. We're here today, we're alive, we're not gone. So that's why I do it. My art is very contemporary, but it ties in traditional values. To me, it feels more natural to tie in my cultural values through symbolism. I like to combine something contemporary and something cultural together. I want others to see how I view the world. And it creates conversation too, like between older and younger people. So that's what I like about my art. Thank you. Yeah, no problem. <laughs>